Hey everyone, this is Pastor Joel coming to you on a Thursday in May 2022. Uh, the end of the school year is just around the corner for lots of families in our area, and so that's the buzz that I hear. And uh, as I make my way toward my last Sunday at Royal Redeemer on June 5, I'm getting a lot of questions from people about what's next for me. And so I thought I'd fill you in. So what's not next, or at least what's not coming next, is retirement. Uh, it's For me, it's more like a third act uh, in ministry. And... Um, you know, with the conversations I've been having with God in my devotion time over the last couple of years, it really seems to me that it is the right time to take everything that I've learned over the last 34 years in ministry and apply it in a new setting. One of the things that I'm working on right now is I'm part of a group that is doing training for intentional interim ministry. And so in, intentional ministers who are, are pastors who come into congregations during a time of transition, much like Royal Redeemer is in right now, and um, help work through any issues in the congregation and position the congregation for uh, a new start, a healthy uh, new start as their next pastor steps in. The, uh, the second thing that I'm working on and something that God has placed on my heart is elder care coaching. And, and for me, that means coming alongside of families that are dealing with aging parents and, uh, and helping them navigate the resources, helping them navigate decisions uh, around how to best care for their parents. It seems for every family going through this, it's a huge learning curve to discover what the resources are and, and how relationships and roles change and so I just like to be part of helping families figure out their way through that. That feels like ministry to me. And, you know, who knows? It could be something, uh, something else, something completely different from those things. I really want the next chapter, the next act, to be something that is from God. And so I intentionally have resisted my own um, inclinations to have everything nailed down uh, for the future, every, even for the next uh, few months, uh, and to really be in prayer and really, as best I can, be walking with God uh, through this time. So there's there's a bit of, I don't know exactly what's next, and I'm really okay with that because I trust that what God has in store is going to be so good. And I have so much evidence of that over 61 years of life, over 34 years of ministry, all the ways that I have been blessed with love and relationships and, and opportunities to, to take part in the work of the gospel and, and grow in the kingdom of God. And so I, I just believe these next chapters are going to be good. A couple of verses that have really spoken to me over these past couple of years. One is, Psalm 16, verses 5 and 6, where David says, Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. And Psalm 119, 105, which may be more familiar to some of you, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Um, I am really trying to trust God and be in his word and, and grow deeper in my relationship with God as I step into this next act. You know, whatever the next uh, couple of years bring for us, Dana and I are planning to stay in the Westchester area in our house, uh, 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 again, at least for another couple of years. You won't see me, you won't see us around Royal Redeemer um, for at least one year. And, and that's because I want to support the congregation and the lead pastors who follow me in creating some space for healthy relationships to build between those lead pastors and the, the congregation. And um, 
That's not to say that I, I don't hope that friendships continue. I would, I would love to keep up with what's going on in your life and in your family's life and to keep you up with going uh, keep you abreast with what's going on in in my life and so um i have to say on that front sorry that i don't check social media um i do post a devotion each day uh, a verse and and a thought about that verse or a question on uh, twitter and on facebook uh but i really don't check uh, those things. Um, and so, you know, if you want to connect with me, probably the best way is to send me an email or shoot me a text or even give me a call. Um, again, I'd love to, to keep up with you and with your family. And I, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your love and your support over, you know, 23 years of ministry. I love what God has built in the community that is Royal Redeemer through you and through me over 23 years together. And I really look forward to discovering what God has for each of us in the days ahead. I have to believe, given his faithfulness, given all that has happened, it's going to be good things. And you know, whatever comes in the days and months and years to come, uh, the good news, the promise that you and I have is that by God's grace, we will always be family in Christ. We will always have that connection in the days to come. So again, thanks for your love and your support. That's just a little update on what's next for me. And um, know that you will be in my prayers. Absolutely. And I appreciate your prayers for me as um, we move into this next act.